Choo choo, motherfuckers. Choo choo. Choo choo. It is May the 18th, 2021, 6 51 a.m., and welcome back to another edition of The Way of the Daniel. What is best to crush your enemies, to see them driven before you, and to hear the lamentations of their women? What's remembered lives. It's early. It's fucking early in the morning and had the sudden inspiration to do a speech of the way of the Daniel immediately following just 10 minutes of gratitude, which immediately followed last night's practice that was more meditative than anything to do with thinking. It was more meditative perception preparation. Perception preparation. Let's uh, let's check out what's going on with the astrology. I know we got that Leo moon still kicking here. Let's, let's check this out. Astro.com, if you're wondering where I get my shit from. And I realized that in past couple of videos, I've talked about the planetary alignments and haven't really said what they mean. And if you don't really follow astrology, then a lot of that shit doesn't make sense unless you really get into what they mean. Gotta watch out so I don't singe my hairs. Yeah, we got the moon in Leo. We're still approaching the first quarter moon. That means when the moon is at a 90 degree angle to the sun as it's on its journey to make a full moon. So that first quarter, again, a great time for refinement, course corrections, etc., etc. I know one course correction is I'm going to stop fucking wasting money on eating out so much, especially fast food type shit. Oh, we got, uh, here's an interesting one. Venus and Gemini, 11 degrees. It's coming up to uh, trine with Saturn. So we'll have to check out and see what's up with that. Um, trines are usually harmonious, beneficial energies. Although, trine with Saturn. Uh, I mean, at the very least, that could be something of like, we don't see Saturnian things as bad. Perhaps discipline takes on a healthier glow, especially with Saturn and Aquarius, and we're seeing things in more advanced new ways. Um, and this, this could come in, in Gemini fashion through through studies. I, I don't know, maybe learning. Learning, for example... Uh, and communication, for example, could take on a more orderly, disciplined, structured way that is also beautiful and harmonious. So that's an example of uh, interpreting interpreting the stars as they come, and that's going to come in the next uh, next couple days. Venus, Venus trying Saturn. So, anyways. Big, big topic of the today that I want to just dump. I want to pour the focus and the energies and the attention down this direction is choo-choo, motherfucker. It's hard to stop a train. It's hard to stop a train. It's, it's, what is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? It's hard to stop a train. This just coming after a focus, a prolonged focus on 10 minutes of gratitude. This is exactly why we 
do focused segments of time. This is exactly why it's important to just put in the time because we are building that momentum. I'm not going to try to work ourselves up right now. Right now, it's still the morning. And so what we're doing, we're more interested in is continuing to just pour into this <clears throat> concept and now let's engage the imagination a little more as we speak it's hard to stop a train this is again why when when something Thing, something haven't investigated this arena yet in the environment that that triggers i'm going to use that word because it's a real word back before people became giant fucking pussies when something triggers something within you and it starts to hopefully that that slow stirring up the negativity that that can eat at you and that won't let go. It's got its own momentum. And so frequently here at the way of the Daniel, we either continue what we're doing while just working through it. If we're busy and we can't stop because especially if you're in a position where others are relying on you, you can't really stop necessarily what you're doing. Although anyone can take a time out and go to the bathroom, unless it's super busy rush, but anyone can excuse themselves. And if you're in a position where you can't, well, you figure that, figure that out when you have quiet time that's why we do planning and preparations so it's hard to stop a train so when the negativity again once again when it begins to eat at you when your mind is going down directions that you would prefer it not to go for what Whatever reason, for whatever reason, because ideally we want to be more in charge, more in control of the direction we are sending our focus and our tension, that we don't want it to just be hijacked. Unless, of course, we're watching an awesome movie or at some kind of theatrical performance where then we do want to get lost in that. There is a wanting to get lost in that. But when you want to have your mind and your attention going down certain directions so you can architect and design your life how you ideally would want to do it to the best of your ability... When that negativity takes hold, one of the first things, again, is not just try and force stop. Are you going to force stop a train? No, you need to start slowing it down. You need to slow it down, bring it to stillness while, and then as you do that, creating other directions and start building momentum down those other directions which is why we love in the morning starting the mornings off down directions not only first of all that are wholesome so don't do stupid shit like launch onto facebook first thing in the morning or turn on the for god's fucking sake turn on the news the first thing in the morning no no, no. Go down directions you would like to go down. Go down directions that are wholesome. Because we're starting that engine up. We're starting that train. And that train has momentum that will affect your day. That will affect your days. That will affect your weeks. 
that will make the work you do not only easier, make it easier, make it less less painful, less less difficult, unless you like difficult. It's already fucking difficult enough as it is. Let's not make it more difficult. Make it more in-depth. Make it more meaningful. It's hard to stop a train. It's hard to stop a train, and we're going to get back into, we're going to continue to take this. We fucking love, we love this phrase. Didn't come from us, came from some kind of advertisement, T-R-A-N-E. But it, here's the thing about advertisers, even though they're fucking brainwashing you to buy shit you don't need, um, they're really great at coming up with slogans So, because that's what they're fucking paid to do. So we still, we, we still, their slogans. We, st- we take them. We take them and we use them just like they would use you. But some people like to be used. Some people want to be used. That's that Marilyn Manson song. How's that go? Sweet dreams are made of thee. Who am I to disagree? Travel the world in the seven seas. Everybody's looking for something. Some of them want to be used by you. Some of them want to use you. Some of them want to be used by you. It's hard to stop a train. Build, build, spend the time, the the segments of focus, dedicated time of attention where you say, I'm going to dedicate these 10 minutes, these 15 minutes to this realm of focus, to gratitude or whatever you want to choose. And just notice, notice how easy or difficult it is to stay there or if your mind strays when you have chosen when you've decided you're gonna stay in that realm and how easy or difficult just just notice it like it's exploring its play because we want our mind to stay in those areas longer that we want it to stay. It's hard to stop a train. It's hard to stop a train. What is best to crush your enemies, to see them driven before you, and to hear the lamentations of their women. What's remembered lives. It's hard to stop a train, and may the force be with you, West Side.